how do we convert standard to vertex form? We will explore patterns in higher order derivatives. I am Anil Kumar. Welcome to my YouTube channel and the website Global Math Institute. In this video, we'll consider a very important question based on higher derivatives of trigonometric functions. The function given to us is a sin x cos x and we need to find the 7th derivative, 1000th derivative and 2022 derivative. You can always pause the video and answer the question. We will discuss complete method of understanding how to solve similar questions. Perfect. Let me thank all the viewers and subscribers for watching my videos and taking keen interest. With your suggestions, we now have 20,000 videos and every day we are uploading something new for you. Perfect. Well, in case you want to learn from me, you can always send an email on the address given. Most of my students are right there on top of their class getting excellent marks along with some scholarships. Just as Akshay, you can be there. After attending university, the winner of this year's Certificate of Achievement Shulik Leader Award is Akshay Kandivan. <laughs> Great. Our student, Akshay, gets highest marks and the most prestigious Shulek Leader Award. You can be there. Join our classes and excel. Now, let us look into this question and discuss it at length. We are given a function a sin x cos x. We want to find higher order derivatives, 7th derivative, 1000th derivative, 2022 derivative. So the nomenclature f and x means nth derivative of f of x. Important thing here is to understand that trigonometric functions are periodic, right? And therefore, what do we expect? We expect a pattern in higher order derivatives. So, our key idea here is to find the pattern. Right? So, the, the thing is, we need to find a pattern. then only you will get a solution. So that is one part, we have to find a pattern. Second is, how do we differentiate this particular function, a sin x cos x. Now, to differentiate, you could use product rule, correct? That is one option. That will be slightly complicated. Second option could be, you could simplify, right? And then find the derivative. Make sense? Now the question is, how do we simplify? So let's look into that option. So we are given the function f of x as equals to a times sin x cos x. We want to simplify it. This term, sin x cos x, reminds you of something, right? Well, yes it does. What is sin 2x equals to? Sin 2x is 2 sin x cos x, correct? Perfect. So that helps. Sin 2x is 2 sin x cos x, but we do not have 2 in this. But we can create one. How? Let's multiply and divide by 2. It is as good as 1, right? 
and then sine x cos x. Now, we go write this as half of a sine 2x. Does make sense. We, what we did was we combined these terms and wrote them as sine 2x since we know this particular formula. Perfect. So, that is one great thing which we have achieved. So, we have simplified the formula and now we can easily find the derivatives, correct? So, we will work with the, the, with the function which is f of x equals to half of a sine 2x, perfect? So, we will work with this and then find the derivatives. So, our first step to simplify actually worked out very well. So, let's do the derivatives. So, we could rewrite this function as half of a sine 2x. And we are going to write their derivatives one by one. So, the first derivative is what? Half of a is a constant. Sine 2x cos, cos 2x is a derivative times 2. And that can be simplified and written as what? 2 and 2 cancels. So, we have a cos 2x. Perfect. So, I just cancelled this 2 with this. Okay. Now, let us find the second derivative from a cos 2x. So, the second derivative is going to be a cos 2x derivative is minus sine 2x times 2, right? So, that gives you 2a with a negative sign. So, let me write negative first. Sine 2x. Third derivative. Minus 2a sine 2x derivative is going to be cos 2x times 2. So, we get minus 4a cos 2x. Let us find the fourth derivative. Correct. Minus 4a cos 2x is minus sine 2x times 2 again. Do you see a pattern? Right. So, minus and minus is plus and we get 8a sine 2x. So, what do you notice? We notice that we started with sine 2x and we have come back to sine 2x. It means now onwards the pattern repeats. So, basically as far as the number is concerned the coefficient and the sign that is going to change but the function is going to remain same. You get the idea. So, so, we do see a pattern here and that is if I am looking at f of nx, in that case, we are looking for this 8a is for third, right? So, this is 2 to the power of n minus 1 a and a function in between. Now, this function could be sine 2x or cos 2x depending on its position, whether it is the first derivative, second derivative, third derivative or fourth derivative. See, the fifth derivative will have this part same as first, sixth, seventh and eighth. You get the idea. Because sine 2x derivative will be cos 2x and so it repeats. Now, we wanted to know the seventh derivative. So, can you tell me what is going to be the seventh derivative? Well, from here, we can say that the seventh derivative will be equal to 2 to the power of 6 and minus 1, right? So, and minus 2 to the power of 6 a cos 2x. You get the idea. From here, we can get the seventh derivative, correct? How do we get 1000th derivative? Well, 
1000 is a multiple of 4, right? This is a multiple of 4. So, 1000th derivative will be same as the 4th derivative, correct? Because 4 is also a multiple of 4. So, we will have 1000th derivative as equal to plus, right? 2 to the power of 1000 minus 1, right? So, 999 a sine 2x. Make sense? How about the other one, which is 2020? Now, 2020, if you divide by 4, then what do you get? 4 times 5 is 20, right? So, and this is 2, and then you bring down another 2. 4 times 5 is 20. You get a remainder of 2. That means second. We call this as a mod 4 function, right? So, that is going to be similar to the second derivative. And so, f of 2022 will be, here we get minus 2 to the power of 1 less power 2021 a and sine 2x. You get the idea. Do you see how? We have worked out all the derivatives after finding the first four since the pattern repeats. Perfect. So, that is the whole idea. So, in case of trigonometric functions, you could have easily find the higher order derivatives from the repeating pattern of these derivatives. Make sense? So, now can you summarize how did we do all this? Well, step one was rewrite the function in a simpler form. In our case, we wrote this as half of a sine 2x. And then pattern repeats. after four derivatives and therefore by analyzing these we could find our answer for all of them you get the idea so that is how such questions should be solved have a good look at this rich page which has all the concepts required to solve such a question perfect I hope that makes sense. In case you like and subscribe to my videos, that would be great. Feel free to write down your comments and suggestions. They are very valuable. And if you want to learn from me, send an email on the address given. Thank you and all the best.